when I realized how bad I was infringing on others' rights in that communities that I had my hog operation in, it began to worry me. I simply got out of the business because of what I was doing to the people in that area. When I was a little boy, I, I learned to swim down here in these swamps. And, and boy, when I, when I got where I owned some land in them, I, I was happy, man. I, I owned part of my heritage, you know. And when I found out that they were going to attempt to put 10,000 sows on the property right across from where I wanted to use my property for as please, I knew I couldn't use my property that I want to. I knew the same thing that I did to people was fixing to be done to me. And the worst part about all this is that the people of Eastern North Carolina were here first before big agriculture came. I was here first. I'm 61 years old. I was here before the industry set up shop, so why should I have to move? These are homes that were either passed down to you. These were homes that you, you saw that this was a home I wanted to buy for my family, a piece of property I wanted to have. And I couldn't even imagine what it would be like to then all have all those dreams smashed with something like that coming in, coming in next door. I don't want to move, really. Like I stated, this is home and everything I've ever known was there, you know. And I was raised right there on this farm. This Title VI complaint that we've filed a few years ago, this is the whole basis for that complaint. The state of North Carolina is not doing due diligence to protect the communities that they're supposed to be serving. We've also lost a lot of our heritage. North Carolina has been a farming community for generations. We've lost a lot of that because there are very few what we would consider traditional farms left in this state. They built the whole house right beside the graveyard. And when we have a funeral, he'll spray in front of your house. He don't care if you, he'll see a flower on the door, he'll spray. And people start talking. What's that smell? What's that smell? I inherited this. This is home for me. And when this house was built, there was no hog houses. So I don't think I should, should be the one to move. I think the hog people should be the one to move. Because I was here first. My mother was born and raised here. She had all of us here. This is our birthright. So why should we want to move or why should we have to move? I just think that this is a vehicle that they're using to run us out because they want this land. They want to develop this neighborhood. The smell of hog waste and, and decaying animals may smell like money to a contract grower, but to people in the community that is getting sick, that's no joke to us. We're not saying that we want you to go out of business or shut, in, shut down, but clean it up. It's a dirty business, and we just feel that the industry should be the one to mandate some type of cleanup.